Hello, we are team 24078, representing the University of Arizona in Yuma, Arizona. Our mentor is Dr. Samuel Peffers, and the Bard Water District, a California irrigation district, is our project sponsor. Today we will discuss and present our solution to a problem that has slowed the water flow in the Bard Water District. This problem affects not only the local area of Yuma County, Arizona, and Imperial Valley County, California, but also nationally and internationally. Clean irrigation canals are essential nationally and internationally to ensure efficient water distribution, minimize water wastage, and maximize agriculture productivity. Maintaining clean irrigation canals supports sustainability water management practices, contributing to global food security and economic stability. The Bard Water District's primary way of sending water is through concrete-lined irrigation canals. A total of 14,676 acres of land use water from the Colorado River, which is under a massive threat of being overused by the states it runs through. Hello, I'm Nicholas Okada. I am the project manager and technical writer for the Team Aquaforce. I am majoring in engineering management and minoring in systems engineering. Hello everyone, my name is David Brito Coronado. I am the technical writer and data analyst of the team. I am majoring in systems engineering with a minor in engineering management. Hello, my name is Joseph Buller and I'm the technical analyst in agricultural and water resource engineering and I'm majoring in biosystems engineering with a minor in plant science. Hi, my name is Walter McCormick. I'm the designer and fabricator on the team. I'm majoring in systems engineering with a minor in cybersecurity systems. The Bart Water District has an ongoing problem with its concrete line canals becoming full of sediment from the Colorado River, along with the vegetation and harmful bacteria on the bottom of the canals. Sediment comes from the Colorado River and is diverted to the Imperial Dam, which services the Imperial Valley. It passes through three desilting basins, each 540 feet wide by 770 feet long and equipped with 72 scrapers designed to remove 70,000 tons of silt daily. Even with the Imperial Dam removing 70,000 tons of silt daily, some silt still gets through and continues into the Bar Water District's earthen and concrete line canals. As the water moves through the canal, it picks up more sediment through the district. The sediment will settle naturally as it catches on sandbars, vegetation builds up in the canal, or the canals are emptied to divert water to another area within the district. Our team was responsible for designing, prototyping, testing, and delivering a system compatible with their existing Caterpillar excavator, their primary vehicle for cleaning the concrete lying canals. The current method for reducing sediment accumulation uses an excavator that takes a conglomeration of chain link fences heavy chains and tires that are balled up, dragged along the bottom of the empty canal and bucketed out by the excavator. The Bard Water District requested a new system to move the already settled sediment and allow the canal to operate. A stretch of irrigation canal takes a day to dry out thoroughly, which is then cleaned by the old method. This method takes an irrigation canal offline and slows the water flow even more. Our project design concerns the concrete line universal brush system or clubs, a hydraulic brush system attached to the existing Caterpillar excavator M318F used to clean the concrete line canals. The system is designed to move parallel and perpendicular to the axis of the canal design and the excavator operator can pivot the brush to a 45 degree angle to reach areas inaccessible by the parallel and perpendicular methods. Clubs utilizes excavator's existing hydraulic system and is equipped with a cat pin coupler for easy attachment to the cat pin grabber on the Caterpillar Excavator M318F. Clubs can remove sediment and vegetation from the bottom and sides of the canals, removing no less than 3 inches of sediment per pass and leaving no more than 1 inch of debris. It is designed to operate in canals of varying dimensions, including 4 foot base and 6 foot height, 2 foot base and 6 foot height, and 1 to 1 and 1 to 1 fourth and one to one half dimensions for the base width and size of the canal. The system includes protective measures to prevent water, dust, and debris from entering sensitive components and causing damage. The final design model of the clubs has an overall footprint of 32 inches long and 24 inches tall with a brush diameter of 10 inches and a usable section of bristles 24 inches long.
The framework is made of half inch steel plate and all components are commercial off the shelf components sourced from McMaster car. The hydraulic motor is connected to the brush via a chain and sprocket drive allowing the operator to power the brush via the hydraulic controls and the excavator's cab. The design was based on the district's most commonly sized concrete line canal using the average flow rate, bottom width, side slope geometry, and channel slope of the canal to generate different fluid mechanics specifications to calculate the Manning's velocity of 1.58 feet per second and the Freud number of 0.223, indicating a subcritical flow in the canal itself. The centrifugal force of the brush out of water were calculated using the mass and radius of the brush to give us the angular and tangential velocities resulting in an average force of 1,203 newtons or 270.5 pounds of force. The drag force calculations of the water itself were calculated using the water density and water velocity, as well as the drag coefficient of 0.82 based on the cylindrical geometry of the brush itself, the relative velocity, and the brush area. This resulted in an overall drag force of 3,946 newtons or 887 pounds of force. Thus, the total force from the brushes submerged is 5,150 newtons or 1,157 pounds of force. These fluid mechanics specifications were cross-referenced with the brush design specifications to ensure the hydraulic brush system's efficiency and sediment removal while maintaining its structural integrity and operational stability. In conclusion, rigorous testing analysis validate the University of Arizona's UMA team has successfully developed and tested the clubs for the Bard Water District. This innovative solution addresses the challenge of sediment buildup in concrete line canals, improving the efficiency of water flow, and reducing the risk of waterborne pathogens. The testing results have demonstrated the effectiveness of the club's system in various scenarios. The system successfully functioned within the existing Caterpillar Excavator M318F, interacted with the cat pin grabber, and operated within the excavator's hydraulic system. It efficiently removed sediment from concrete lined canals, achieving less than three inches of sediment removal per pass. The system operates in canals of varying dimensions, including those with the base widths of four foot and two feet and canals with slopes of one and one fourth and one and one half. Additionally, the system operated in parallel perpendicular and 45 degree orientations to the canal. For future improvements, we recommend increasing the brush diameter to enhance sediment removal efficiency, particularly in wider canals, by remounting the motor on top of the system's framework rather than underneath it. Automating the brush angle adjustment could also optimize coverage and ease of operation. Continuous monitoring the system's performance over the extended period is essential to assess its long-term durability and maintenance requirements. Regular inspection and maintenance schedules will ensure the system's reliability and effectiveness in sediment removal. With cleaner canals, the Barred Water District can ensure a more reliable and cleaner water supply for the local community, supporting agriculture, and the well-being of residents in the Yuma and Imperial Valley areas. Our team is proud to contribute to this important endeavor, and we look forward to the seeing the positive impact of the club system on the Barred Water District and beyond.